My name is Raquel Soledad Tompkins. I am a artist, singer, songwriter, choreographer from Detroit. Um, I have a team of 10 backup dancers that I dance with, some of the craziest dancers you'll ever see. Beat on my soul. Don't anybody just tell me where it is I'll go. Feel your hands on my body. My whole music career, I feel like ever since I started, has really been about kind of just connecting with anybody and everybody who listens to my music. I feel like I've forever just, you know, even the first time I made a song, like the first connection, like that's, I've had like people cry, cry to me about, I like to, in a way, make people feel like they're less alone, you know, like they're not the only person going through something, you know, my songs are a lot, like very vulnerable, a lot of my songs are about heartbreak and, whether it's like falling in love or falling out of love, like a lot of people can relate to that. And I like just being that outlet in a way. But other than that, I feel like a lot of people expect, like when they first see me, expect me, you know, just have it all together. Like that I'm this great, happy, like, oh my God, I got so great. Like, no, like behind closed doors, bro. It's a totally different story. It's like I, I can I can get up, you know, put on a face and over Instagram, you know, everything's great, everybody's perfect, but it's not not like that and I hope everybody knows that. Nobody would expect it. I go home and I'm struggling every day. For a really long time I struggled in that sense of like, you know, putting on that face and like getting up and be like, Oh, I have a show today, like I like gotta be good. Um, once I started dancing with my dancers though, I feel like they, in a way, like transformed me into a completely different person. Like I realized, I was like, wow, like I used to like really be in my head about this shit or really like not want to be like recording songs because I was having a bad day and it's like now I'm like, I have a team. I got a team to worry about like besides myself and I got to do this shit regardless. I got to be here regardless and it has like, what's the word? It's just boosted like my work ethic like tremendously. I started making music when I was 10. My grandma passed away. My grandma Soledad was actually her name. Um, and that was the first time I ever experienced loneliness. And the word Soledad means solitude, loneliness. And literally ever since that point, like I've been writing everything down on paper. I've been like, so I'm writing out all my feelings and that was like when I like knew I'm like okay this is this is my outlet this is like everything to me and I can't see myself doing anything else this is everything I feel like my sisters always were huge inspirations to me whether like they're older or younger than me I've always either wanted to be a role model to my younger sister or my oldest sisters they were always dancers and singers like my whole family can sing and they can all dance. They just are too shy to be on stage with me. I'm so mad at them. Um, but I literally remember always growing up, like watching my sister on stage and being like, no way, <laughs> like that is insane. I wanna do that, I wanna do that. And here's everything. And besides that, Rihanna. <laughs> Rihanna's the shit. I've always, I remember being in like middle school, elementary school, like posting her on Instagram, like, WCW, like my favorite artist ever. Like she was the best. And Selena. I was talking about this earlier because like I feel like I don't know much about like the music industry in general. I feel like I know more about like, you know, like the independent artists industry more. I do wish that not every artist had this like dream to wanna be signed to a label or put on with a manager or whatever it is. Like I feel like there's so many people out here doing this for the money, or for the clout. Like I really just, I, living in LA, I feel like I, that's all I saw was just everybody out there doing it for bullshit reasons really. And coming, like growing up in Michigan, being over here, the music scene, everybody is just so willing to help each other. And there's a lot more people over here doing it for the love of it than anything else. You can take what's mine, take mine